Captain James Glime says the challenges include leadership and management to keep the best people in the Navy, and another concern, satisfy the city of Lemoore's needs and the Navy's at the same time. Well, one of the first things we got to do, of course, is, uh, is get the pay increased. That's our toughest problem right now, is uh, what inflation has done to, uh, to our, uh, our, our benefits and to our, what we take home each payday. And, what uh, about satisfying the needs of uh, the community of Lemoore and the Navy's needs at the same time? Uh, we're working with them every day. I don't see any problem with that at this point in time. Captain Glime is making history for the Flyers at the base. In the past, the base has been run by the ranks not directly associated with the Flyers and personnel in the hangars. He's one of those who traditionally was always considered a customer, but now he, the customer, is in total command. He has an awful lot of experience. He's a highly combat experienced aviator and uh, should be very good for this, for this community. The best thing about him, as far as I'm concerned, as a lieutenant, is that he's so accessible to everybody in the command. I was in the next squadron down here uh, a while back, and he used to fly with us once in a while. He was looked like a pretty good gent, like he knew what he was doing, like uh, he knew how to treat people, too. He was a right type individual. Growth will continue to be the rule at the base. The manpower isn't expected to peak until 1987, and that's good for the economies and all the cities around the base. Chuck Muller, 47 Eyewitness News at the Lamore Naval Air Station. The commander also